Hi everyone, I'm Cleary Von Lee, the Executive Director of the Global Oneness Project, and I'm excited to be here today to be a part of the first Global Collaboration Summit. I'm here to talk a little bit about the Global Oneness Project, a little bit about our mission and the resources we offer, as well as share a particular project that we're working on called Document Your Place on the Planet, which is a student photography project where they can take action. To start, I'm, I'm here on our website, theglobaloneness.org, and our mission really is to bring the world's cultures alive in the classroom. So we're documentary filmmakers, and we're also curriculum writers, and we, you can come to our website and explore over 50 short documentary films, photo essays from professional photographers, uh, as well as lesson plans that accompany all of those stories. All of our stories really document social, cultural, and environmental issues from all around the world. And we really um, are at the intersection between language and landscape. How do, how our particular cultures are impacted by the environment and vice versa. So I'm here on, um, on our website and I wanted to just give you a little sneak peek at some of our um, collections. You can come to our site and explore these. I'm going to minimize my um, here. And so, for example, you can come and you can explore our migration collection and explore and discover what is lost and gained as migrants uh, travel long distances in search of a new home. Our climate change collection um, basically explores uh, different ways that you can learn the impacts that individuals and communities have about climate change as well as uh, resources on our planet. And then we have an indigenous cultures collection where you can meet people and, and communities, um, indigenous peoples from all around the world and learn about particular issues um, such as language loss as well as climate change and a bunch of other um, specific issues too. One of the uh, projects that we want to share is one called um, Remember Earth. And this is called Document Your Place on the Planet. Essentially, this is inspired by our short film called Earthrise. So you can come to our site. This is the Earthrise page on our website. Earthrise, the short film by Emmanuel Von Lee, documents the story of the Earthrise photograph, which was taken in 1968 on Apollo 8 by Bill Anders. And this was the first time that we as humanity left Earth's orbit to travel around the moon and see our Earth for the first time, to see it as one home and one ecosystem. And so you can come and explore this site this um, uh, page on our website, and then you can explore. We have a, um, a very extensive discussion guide. It's all a curriculum guide that goes with this film. And I'm just gonna give you a snapshot at what that is. So you can come to our site and explore kind of how to bring this film into the classroom, how to put this film in context and fit different historical, cultural, and environmental um, entry points. We have extensive biographies on the astronauts, the filmmaker statement, which shows the intentionality and describes uh, the filmmaker's intentionality behind the film. And then this guide is really broken into four various themes. The power of perspective, bearing witness, exploration, and reverence for the environment. And so, um, this particular project is also connected to the Sustainable Development Goals. We are connecting it to Climate Action, number 13, and you can come to the, um, to the guide and look at how we've made those connections. And then I wanted to show you this page on our site called Document Your Place on the Planet. This is the Student Photography Project. And it's really inspired by the film Earthrise, inspired by the mission of the film, 
um, the mission of the film is really to establish a relationship to our planet as one home. And so the summary of this project really is to learn about the film. So students will watch the film. They'll learn about the different impacts that this photograph had on society and humanity. And then they will take one photograph and I'll show you those prompts in a moment. The driving question of this project is how does the Earthrise photograph challenge us to consider our relationship to the earth and provide a context for what it means to be a global citizen? We're putting this at grade level five, grades five and up, and the subject areas are listed here, although there are an extensive subject areas that also can apply to this project as two. Um, students will obviously need a camera in order to document their photograph, and we're giving this about several days. Here are some instructional goals for this project. Um, the Earthrise photograph is one of the most iconic and reproduced images in history. And so that's one way of looking at this as well as, you know, encouraging students to make global to local connections and also to document their uh, changing ecosystems on a local level. We provide some background information as well as some um, photographs from Apollo 8 and at that time in 1968. And then here we go to the project instructions, most of which I've already talked about. Um, but we get down to number four is are these four prompts and students will respond to one of these prompts with one visual photograph. What is your relationship to our planet? How are we all interconnected? In what way is your community protecting the environment and how can we change our perspective to see our planet as one home? So students will select one of those um, prompts, they'll take a photograph, and then they will reflect on their photograph and we provide some ways from questions to do that. And then they'll write a caption, two sentences, and they'll include the city, state, and country in which they live and why what they captured is important to them. So how can we showcase student work? Um, one way is through a gallery walk. So highlighting these photographs in your classroom or in your school or community and having discussions about some of the choices or observations students have made. Students can share their photographs using the hashtag Remember Earth on social media. And then we're also collecting student uh, photographs to be considered for publication on our website. So you can contact us if you're interested in that. And to end, I wanted to show you uh, some student photographs that we had a classroom in Interlock and Center for the Arts pilot this program. And these I'm going to flip through are some student uh, photographs. And while I flip through these, I also want to share that if you're coming to the ISTE conference, we will be doing a special educational film screening of Earthrise on Monday, June 24th at 7 p.m. at the Philadelphia Film Center. And you're welcome to come. It's free and open to the public. You can RSVP at um, Eventbrite to search for Earthrise in Philadelphia. And we'd love for you to join us where we'll have um, a few panelists, including myself, uh, Rachel Connolly, the WGBH Science Director, um, Alex Young, who's a NASA scientist, and then Matt Hamilton, who's an English language arts teacher for high school. So I hope that you can um, join us. And um, if you have any questions, please do feel free to reach out to me at Cleary, C-L-E-A-R-Y, at globaloneness.project.org. Um, and feel free to come to our website, globaloneness.project.org, where you can access all of our films, photo essays, and free lesson plans to start using them in your classrooms, where you can also come to our site and create your own collection so that you can utilize that um, when you head back for next school year. Thanks so much.